Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, today, uh, the, the topic of my lecture is uh, introduction and overview of uh, many years research into uh, anthropomorphic knowledge structures for uh, safety protection systems. Um, this, uh, this work uh, commenced many years ago in, in a number of countries. So this is the layout. Uh, of my presentation, we'll introduce the, the problem and solution approach, then we uh, uh, discuss how <clears throat> a large domain of uh, um, flight situations are uh, treated by test pilots and uh, speciali specialists in, uh, in neuroscience. Then we introduce briefly the technology which we were using to prototype these uh, knowledge structures. And uh, after that, I will introduce several uh, prototypes for studying single situations for safety and then for studying a large domains of uh, flight situations for safety as well. Uh, then I will uh, summarize with the uh, discussion of uh, a couple of points of unsettled issues and to future development of potential applications. Ah, here we are. Yes. Okay. Uh, the course of the functionality for multi Sorry, if you can. On the on the oh, okay, yes. thank you. The, the course of the dimensionality of the multifactorial risk space. The majority of uh, complex life scenarios are treated as theoretically impossible. We, we can't do anything else because uh, too many uh, combinations, uh, combinatorics, too, too many technical time and budget constraints. And therefore, we exclude these uh, cases from certification qualification um, requirements. And uh, Nevertheless, uh, such inconceivable cases do occur in uh, flight tests and uh, operations. This is a simple example to demonstrate how we, uh, by combining even several uh, risk factors together, we, we get several, um, a few, maybe nine uh, operational uh, <clears throat> compositions, and yet it we lead uh, will lead the process into uh, <clears throat> ge uh, uh, geometric progression. And this even small uh, subset of uh, scenarios uh, uh, <clears throat> demands uh, more than half a year to, to, to study. Uh, this is a nice tree which shows you how a um, multifactorial what if situation develops if we add by one one uh, risk factors or demanding operating conditions. So from normal takeoff, we, we get a uh, takeoff from the runway. Then if engine fails, we have continued takeoff. Uh, then wind shear condition uh, uh, <clears throat> brings an, uh, another <clears throat> complication of, of, the, of the scenario. Then uh, we end up with the chain reaction accident. Uh, the knowledge about the majority of such cases with several risk factors uh, unreliable. We cannot address all of them in flight manual in uh, algorithm of automatic flight control. And cases uh, are well known. Uh, uh, the solution approach is uh, we must address the non-theological causes of the chain reaction accidents. Therefore, we must address for uh, incomplete uh, validation of the algorithm for flight control, then untested aircraft, uh, then uh, insufficient training. And the working hypothesis is that unfortunately, uh, ultimately, neither pilot nor automaton control the vehicle. The vehicle is controlled by knowledge, by the laws of aerodynamics, flight dynamics, thermodynamics, logic. And the human operator and computer is only a carrier, application agent for this knowledge. This is this, this uh, development spiral uh, demonstrate how, how is our, what is our objective. We must um, go from the big data uh, solutions to the big knowledge solution. It is possible at the moment when we introduce the AI techniques, uh, computing techniques, and uh, smart algorithm as well. So uh, we, we start with the basics. These are basic elements of a flight scenario. It includes event and processes, so discrete and continuous components. It forms elementary situations with two events uh, at the ends and one process in the middle. 
then we continue with the flight scenario with the collection of uh, scenarios and then we end up with the situational tree um, if we take the um, Nika SC model, it, it uh, looks like that. And we see that the situation awareness consists of all the three levels of um, uh, before decision making. So perception of elements of the situation, then uh, comprehension of the uh, <coughs> current situation, which means scenario. And finally, projection of the situation, uh, what if projection in the future. If you look at, at the, I will overlap the two, two slides and we'll see that it, it is like that. Therefore, the model is okay, theoretical model, obviously, and we follow this way in parallel since um, early 80s and um, receive these results. So how knowledge of large domain is treated by pilots? This is a collection of <coughs> statements from Russian pilots, which is, uh, uh, indicates what we should think and how we should think about complex situations. And if we go uh, to the late uh, recent works of uh, neuroscientists, we, we see that uh, uh, the branching of the axon <coughs> terminals uh, follows the three, three um, processes, arborization, collateral formation, and bifurcation, which means that uh, the uh, knowledge, uh, situational tactical no level knowledge, uh, um, will be using these material <coughs> elements in order to uh, develop um, uh, a knowledge base uh, um, uh, as the result of uh, activity. And uh, the formalization of the situation tactical knowledge of flight uh, uh, can be done like that. Uh, I will skip it. Uh, uh, but the main thing that uh, the branching uh, <clears throat> nature of, of the, of the uh, neural activity it's uh, help, um, <clears throat> allow us to uh, for deviations for deviation from the standard scenarios, standard basic procedures of flight manual or other standard things. So this is perfectly fits uh, the the neural basis uh, um, for, the, for the knowledge. And uh, this is an example of a branching branching of the situation knowledge tree for the takeoff. This is a simple ta takeoff um, line which includes uh, events, points, and processes between them. And let's um, <clears throat> imagine that at, at, at uh, the event before um, rotation, we are pilots uh, make a mistake. Instead of maintaining pitch 13 degrees, it maintains like uh, uh, pitch eight, uh, equal eight degrees. Therefore, all the, the bunch of events and processes go in a different way. The timeline goes like that. So what's going on in the, in the head of uh, uh, ordinary pilot? Uh, we, we, we've got, um, uh, a very, very nice, in my opinion, uh, analogy. It's a natural tree, and the, 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 there are four uh, problems here. We have um, places in, within the head, within the uh, knowledge base, where we have missing knowledge points R A, then forgotten or shadowed knowledge point, points B, then non-systematic knowledge and uh, fragment, fragmentary knowledge uh, as well, like that. Therefore. Somehow we must account for these irregularities and um, <clears throat> breaks and uh, other in <clears throat> other defects in, in, in the in the pilot's head. Uh, the perfect way is to introduce a somehow an ideal ideal model for <clears throat> either for pilots for or for automaton in order to uh, shape a nice uh, regular, not too um, expensive. Uh, evenly uh, distributed picture along all the risk factors. However, it, this is kind of be done for, for humans, obviously, otherwise pilots wouldn't be able to, to fly at all. And for the automata, we need to, uh, to, uh, to uh, <clears throat> develop a corresponding uh, mathematical uh, apparatus. And uh, the most um, dangerous and the most um, difficult to cope with uh, uh, forms uh, of um, situational tree inside the head is uh, there are three non systematic knowledge with large blanks inside you see blanks uh, blank places instead of um, branches uh, then a fully lost external layer and absolutely fully lost the crown majority without and the reasons for that uh, are shown in, in this table as well therefore um, thousands of hours i mean which constitute the the trunk of a tree doesn't guarantee for you a safety in complex situations uh, where uh, aircraft uh, 
uh, resides uh, at, the, at the constraints. It obviously, pilots or automaton do, do not have knowledge or algorithms in order to um, <clears throat> return to the uh, safe uh, flight envelope. Uh, we're using technology which consists of the following techniques. It concludes the models of pilot, automaton, aircraft operating environments. And on the right side, you, you, uh, there are ba basically, um, basic uh, components uh, uh, of the model. And we, we're using the uh, two level uh, human pilot model, uh, level number three, number, uh, number uh, two, uh, sorry, uh, number two and number one. Uh, uh, in this um, uh, foundation, there is the Makuro crossover model of Professor Tashili model, model, my scientific advisor many years ago, and also these scenarios and situational trees. So um, this, um, this model helps us to fly uh, some flight dynamics model 200 or 5,000 times uh, faster than real time, and uh, according to the prescribed scenarios, which help us to uh, avoid uh, useless computations and uh, re, re, <coughs> retune the, the model onto a new scenario. The, the, the retuning goes automatically and we, uh, we uh, obtain uh, nice trees uh, as a result of simulations. Uh, these are the major um, uh, physical logical properties which are represented in the model. The model in, uh, is based on, on the best uh, expertise available in several countries. And this is the cycle, uh, virtual flight test certification cycle. So we load a scenario uh, to the model and then a parametric definition of the vehicle after the process of um, <coughs> generating a uh, huge uh, flight databases of flights, the big data. We process this data uh, and uh, obtain knowledge, um, uh, granulated knowledge and generalized and mapped. For, for the purpose of uh, using by a pilot or by an artificial uh, control agent. Uh, this is the, the, the two collection of the um, uh, anthropomorphic knowledge structures, which are uh, to a certain extent, maybe to large, bigger or smaller, uh, compatible with, with the, with the uh, forms, uh, which uh, uh, pilots using um, in, 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 in his and her uh, flying uh, activity. Uh, so uh, the prototypes uh, uh, for the structures, which uh, help us to uh, uh, analyze and control a single situation. Uh, the basics are the three uh, components and all the describe them. These are event, process, and scenario. And so this is scenario itself. And uh, scenario, it's a district continuous structure, which is a plan of situation. It was developed uh, this method uh, in 1984. Uh, by by the, these dates, more than uh, 1,500 uh, scenarios, base, baseline scenarios, which constitute the uh, trunk of the tree, were um, um, <clears throat> studied uh, for 35 uh, aircraft types, mainly for Soviet Russians and Americans and uh, UK, from UK and China. And so for, for all three um, <clears throat> ranges of, of, uh, of, uh, of, um, of airspeed, subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic as well. Uh, in order to um, uh, assess the safety of, uh, of flights, we introduce uh, two concepts like uh, safety pilot. It's a, it's a natural uh, way how people treat uh, danger from um, absolutely safe to absolutely uh, catastrophic. And we're using uh, Latvia's uh, Vades father set to account for uh, operational constraints which are not uh, stati ba statistically based because uh, it, uh, they uh, the fuzzy sets uh, constraints, they account for our uncertainty, non-statistical, about the, the <coughs> border of the flight envelope. Uh, these are the examples of flight, uh, fuzzy flight constraints for small uh, aircraft to commute uh, airplane. Uh, just for, uh, this is an algorithm for, uh, <clears throat> to calculate uh, so-called partial safety spectra. We're using a fuzzy constraint here. Uh, here. And we can evaluate the, the danger of, of the value of a specific uh, contro controlled variable uh, in terms of um, uh, compatibility with the fuzzy constraint. The blue um, spot in the middle may uh, could uh, account for some optimal, optimal um, <coughs> state. Uh, this is the algorithm for uh, calculation of the integral safety spectra. Basically, we have several. Uh, 
uh, partial spe uh, spectrum horizontally, and the, the bottom line uh, uh, absorbs the hottest color for each time instant during the situation. And the, the, the lower line is the integral safety spectrum. Uh, these are the examples of re real uh, uh, <coughs> partial uh, integral safety spectra for one situation where this was an accident, severe accident, uh, many years ago. And the, the lower line is the integral safety spectrum. Uh, the prototypes about the uh, knowledge structures uh, to uh, study the safety of multiple situations, basically trees. Uh, we developed so-called design field for multifactorial operational hypothesis. Uh, on the circle, on the <clears throat> uh, on the circle, you see risk factors which you wish to examine virtually, and in the middle connection in the middle uh, gives us <clears throat> operational hypothesis. It could contain up to fifteen, uh, up to fifteen uh, risk factors. Therefore, very complex situations like that. And this is a tree, situational tree, uh, with the uh, branches colored with integral safety spectra. And each tree has its uh, own uh, total flight time or this uh, virtual pilot. And for this particular tree with, with 120 branches, the uh, total flight time, flight test time, two hours and 17, maybe 15 minutes like that. It's important. These are the collections, examples of uh, various trees for various uh, uh, situations. Uh, each situation is a um, uh, composition of a basic uh, baseline scenario, which constitutes the, the, the trunk, the main, the main uh, benign uh, situation. And the second part is the hap um, operational hypothesis. Uh, you, the, the, the physics you see from the, from the names of, of these uh, trees. So like that. So to calculate such a tree without a pilot, it takes maybe a fraction of a second. That's very important. Like that. If we line up all the um, uh, integral safety spectra uh, uh, along the uh, timeline of a situation, and the vertical uh, line is the uh, case number, so what if situation, then you, you've got so-called carpet or family of safety spectra. It's a good picture builds, uh, which allows you to build eye view, uh, visual analytics. And uh, the next column here, the number of, of, of a case, uh, and then uh, values of risk factors, up to 15 risk factors. And the right part of this, uh, this uh, uh, screen is, is, uh, uh, accounts for logics, for the logics, uh, relation between the uh, 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 risk factors and uh, the safety performance of the, situ of, uh, of the situation. Uh, it's a good way how to, for example, compare two identical flights uh, or situations, uh, one of which has some distinctive uh, uh, risk factor. For example, the le left hand um, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, carpet uh, is the same takeoff, but under the very severe wind shear conditions. And you can identify which combination of risk factors uh, for risk factors is not tolerable with this specific level of risk uh, of uh, wind shear. Uh, real wind shear here is from one of the accidents I took part in the investigation. And this is a scale up um, uh, <coughs> uh, comparison of two, uh, two uh, of three um, integral safety sp spectra from the left hand and the right hand uh, uh, operational um, uh, composition. Um, in, or in order to further um, uh, assess, assess the safety level of the situation, we must somehow convert the integral safety spectra into one color. From this table, it is sort of, of course, it's not, but it's sort of Cooper Harper scale. And uh, obviously, we can assign a mark for each situation based on, on the comparison of the structure and color, color coding of, of its uh, um, safety spectrum. I will skip it, and later you, you may wish to, to have a look uh, into the documents, to the papers uh, with the explanation. And this uh, shows a um, uh, slide how we convert uh, is integral safety spectra in the one color, it is column vertically, with the number, uh, Roman number, which accounts for the number of the uh, situation um, category. And uh, it, it, graphically, it's shown how we convert the integral safety spectra through this uh, uh, <coughs> safety scale into one uh, number. Then, if you um, uh, had a matrix 
on the vertical uh, on the uh, on the rows you you put uh, values of the first uh, risk factor in this uh, case commanded uh, the, the flight path angle and horizontally we you <coughs> line up uh, the commanded bank angle there are two risk factors here and you project the uh, safety grade into this map you you, you got a so-called safety window and another way how to use uh, the integral safety spectra and the information logical from a scenario uh, to construct automatically or semi-automatically so-called uh, uh, safety uh, tactical decision tree. This is an accident, the right hand uh, branch, or <coughs> bunch of branches and other, and so other um, two branches uh, are um, hypothesis we were which um, investigators were trying in order to identify whether or not this case was irreversible and what was the, the major cause of the accident. Uh, this uh, helps uh, this example of, of the analysis of the effects of multifactorial composite on the system dynamics. Here we have three risk factors. The right hand is, is the uh, uh, commanded flight path angle, and the other, other two you, you will see. I will change the flight path angle, and you see how the, the safety picture changes for, for, for these three trees. It, it gives you, uh, as an anal analytic, uh, make decision with, 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 uh, about the, uh, which, uh, which uh, technique we should apply, either at the level of the uh, uh, design variables or at the level of correcting uh, operational constraints or at the level of the tactics, flight manual, or at the level of the automatic flight control or stability augmentation system. It's a very, very convenient scenario. This is a so-called concept of safety topology. I will fuzzify this safety window, you see, fuzzify. And after that, I will find very interesting objects here, which are abyss, then uh, hill, slope, valley, lake. And you see, obviously, there, there are regions here, sorry, uh, which are not um, allowed for, um, for the pilot to enter. And normally pilots die, test pilot here at the edge. Therefore, uh, transition three must be controlled and uh, transition six must be prevented. Unsettled issues. So there are some pitfalls, of course, in, in the world of simulation. People know about that, how to get uh, correct data, validated data, how to um, buy this data not too, not too uh, expensively, and uh, uh, how to get the automatic flight control module. Normally, we take it as a black box. Otherwise, no, no way how to do this. For unsettled issues, um, uh, these are engineering and research uh, problems, and the list is here. Uh, the major problem is the um, validation of the pilot model at the uh, level three, level one, and level one, and also uh, obtain data for asymmetric configurations and for configuration or dynamics at high angle of attack, spin, stall, especially if we have asymmetry for the for the, for, the th for thrust. Future research, there are several ways which I would like to point out. The main one is to prototype a highly competent synthetic uh, knowledge base with a total virtual flight time more than 10 power five or 10 power six hours, which means that we place on board the aircraft um, a forest, forest which will account any situation which were experienced before which uh, is characteristic for the, uh, this, uh, for example, geographic region, characteristic for the uh, shortcoming of, of education or uh, professional development. Uh, therefore, uh, the knowledge bases could be uh, adaptive, adaptive. Potential applica uh, applications is uh, shown here. And the most interesting, um, maybe most challenging is the exocortus. Most it's, it's um, about the Elon Musk, but it's about the way how to, um, how to bring these uh, millions of hours of flight uh, and how to not to um, sink the pilot in this um, in this uh, sea of uh, knowledge or, uh, but not that data we we passed this path we're working with knowledge big knowledge um, in order to help pilot uh, uh, or somebody else a partner uh, to uh, prevent entering it into a reversible situation Professor Ivan Burman, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, but I need no, to okay. conclude. Uh, yes, I will. Thank you very much for reminding me. Uh, I will show to 
this is a very interesting picture, like, wow. It's a passing, um, uh, changing wind shear uh, condition, uh, which uh, show you how the space of, uh, for manure de uh, diminishes, de diminishes uh, as the time pass. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, conclusions uh, are here. So, um, the branching moment structure is definitely um, is inside uh, professional uh, pilot uh, and it's subject to growth and unfortunately to decay. And uh, especially the problem is at the edge of the professional envelope. Uh, the, uh, the edge of the professional envelope. The second is the, the knowledge structures help us to emulate the principle of uh, accumulation, retention, mapping, and projection. Uh, of situational tactical experience uh, by pilots to cope with some uh, unexpected things. And finally, these developed knowledge structures can be useful for applied research into the cognitive system for flight safety and processive applications or research tasks are shown here. So these are people whom I would like to thank you very much, especially the first three uh, for valuable advices um, and uh, my, my colleagues from several countries as well.